Thursday. It happened Wednesday. Okay. Uh, Phaedra Parks. Atlanta's own, Athens own. She's born in Athens, actually. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Tell the it's people. coming Kara. back to Married to Medicine, <sighs> an NBC property, Huge. Um, on Bravo, because she was on um, The Real Housewives for years, and then she was off, and yes. then she was on Girls Trip, and now she's back on Married to Medicine. So then that got us talking. Why? She is an attorney. Okay. She is a mortician. Yes. She's sassy but classy. What can she is not she do? Is she also a physician now? She or just is might she be. she dating one? We don't know. We don't know. It's probably online, but we just haven't. Because she currently has a man. She is dating someone. Okay, well, he must be in the medical field. Okay, he has to be, because otherwise, I mean, she can't return to Houses of Atlanta, so it's like, where can we put her? Yeah. Because she's that charismatic and incredible. She's a queen. Wow. She's and Girls Trip Round 2. That's what kills me. Yeah. I'm she's like, busy. bring back her she's... and the OG of the OC. <laughs> As and... Lanethia Leakes would say, she's booked and busy. Booked uh -huh. and busy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, from one queen to the okay. next, we got another one. Let's queen do it. Victoria. Okay. A little bit of a different age, but you know, she was the longest reigning monarch until Queen Elizabeth II, and her beautiful personal letterbox was recently unearthed after 140 years. It's what? kind of ornate, it's about 30 inches tall, and it's this lovely wooden table box that she would put her personal letters in. There it is before you. And it was found with a Christmas letter inside. Don't get too excited. It wasn't actually from the Queen. It was mm. like kind of from the 1950s when okay. it was sold in a state sale. Still very cool. Wow. Found in a cottage in Surrey and just sold many decades later and then found all these years later. I mean, is that gentleman in the picture going to take it to Antiques Roadshow? He, he just might. <laughs> he should. How could it? See how much money you can get for that. I mean, what could that be valued at? I don't know. That's what so an pretty. incredible find. They said that she just loved to pen a letter. And they well, knew it was that? hers because it had her initials, I believe, yes. engraved in it somewhere. It did indeed. It had yeah. the V R. R. Yes. <laughs> there we go. We are. That's pretty cool. Yes, that is really neat. It was formerly like her holiday retreat, so. Yeah. Enjoyable. Okay. Look okay. for it on eBay. Another English story, another lovely Brit story. Uh, four brothers are close to a world first. They're nearing the end of an epic 3,000 mile row across the Atlantic. And they're raising money for several charities near over 80,000 so far. They're the Friend Brothers and they're getting to it. This is a world first because they're four brothers. They take turns rowing, and then they go like two hours on, two hours off. They're eating 6,000 calories a day of freeze-dried food. Oh, gosh, They're that looks dangerous. desalinating their water. Let's hear from them about the highs and lows of this incredible journey. Wow. Um, yeah, it's been some massive highs and some pretty low moments over the past 26 days. High moments from just, you know, surfing down some massive waves, you know, going from what we average normally about three knots to about 14 knots. Um, and then, you know, these amazing starry skies um, and sort of amazing sunrises and sunsets. Massive waves and sunrises and sunsets. <laughs> he can't beat the views. He said another low being slapped at the fit, slapped by flying fish at 2 a.m. That can't be good. <laughs> but then wow. back in the cabin they go, kind of damp, and they're nearly a month in. They're almost in Antigua. A girlfriend told us that they're really enjoying the experience. How could they not? They're almost third place, and they're raising money for several charities. So I love that. I think they're going to raise at least 100000 For a good 000. cause. For yes. a good cause, I guess you would be kind of damp for a good cause. How can you not be? And get slapped in the face with fishies. With fish! Very handsome, too. Fri they're calling it the friendship because their last name is friend. Oh, that's sweet. 3,000 that. miles. Can you imagine? My parents just are rowing? worried, though. If, like, all four of my children were just on this crazy right. adventure, I mean, for charity, I'd be proud, but also yes. would not sleep until they returned home safe. True. Mm -hmm. But I think they're doing good. I mean, they're staying safe. And then tomorrow, you're going to talk about a sweet cat named Elvis. A sweet cat named Elvis? You know who I love, Graceland. Austin Butler. Does he still talk like that? I am I so disturbed by that. It's people. wild. Yeah, we get it. You trained for Elvis, but now f phase out of it. You didn't sound like that when you were on Disney, honey. Did you say, sorry, Sydney, but at the Golden Globes in the press room, he did say, oh, I don't really think I still sound like him. Yes, you do, sir. Kind sir, you do. All right, Trent, you're best. You're coming back at the end of the show. And we're always looking for sweet, it's all good stories. All you have to do is head to our homepage. You can go to our Facebook page. You can go to Twitter. You can really reach us anywhere and share the love to be featured.